You're listening to 94XO. Hey guys, you're listening to 94XO. This is Simone, and today we have a special guest, Teacup Dragon. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) So first off, where did you get this unique name from? Because I love it. Thank you so so much. It's so different, and it just just stands out. So where did you get it from? Um, so teacup came from me drinking tequila out of a teacup. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I drink my tequila out of a teacup. And dragon is a very special part of me. It is my name, <laughs> literally. So yeah, teacup dragon. That's yeah, how she so, came about. Um. Well, I remember when I first saw someone share your EP. It's called Emotional War. Um. I saw it on Facebook, and I was just like, who is this? Like, I've never seen you before, so I was going and clicking and lurking. And that project was, like, something that I think that a lot of people needed, and I needed at that time. I still need it. Yeah, so just go ahead and talk about what made you create that. Okay, so Emotional Horror is, like, a very dark place in time in my life. Um, I wrote it in... 2016 so I started working on 2016 and then released it in 2016 um, on SoundCloud and basically it's like all of your mixed emotions that it possibly anybody could have but more so than what a female can have mm-hmm. um, you put your emotions and feelings into people and then them just like whoring them around so yeah so how, this did, way. <laughs> so how did you break out of your your shell so I can tell with you uh, just looking like that social media and stuff you're very very comfortable with yourself oh yeah and a lot of women aren't right 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 uh, <laughs> I can tell you like it took me a while to kind of like branch out and talk to different people um, and just be who I am so that's something I really admire about you so just kind of go like how'd you break into that how did you get comfortable in your um, skin so, I've, so I'm always an awkward being um I wouldn't say comfortable. I'm, I'm pretty okay. I am comfortable in my skin. I'm like I'm just worried with it. So like, it'd be if I get hot, then I just end up exposing myself on accident. <laughs> um, if I get cold, I still end up exposing myself on accident. Um, I just became very comfortable um, when I started like understanding like me as a human. I would say mm-hmm. so whether if it's trying to talk to people or like being socially awkward, like. I still try my best to look like I'm comfortable. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I just, I guess I just look at myself as here, but like not really here. Mm-hmm. But like, you gotta be comfortable because I don't want somebody to already know that I'm awkward and then they start acting awkward. Mm-hmm. So now we're both awkward. So if I look like I'm pretty comfortable. And what's going on? I think I'll be okay. (laughs) This is literally going with the flow. So, like, when you're on stage, um, do you still get, like, stage fright? I'm trying to think. So, I don't don't get stage fright. Um, So, my anxiety is, like, off the chain because I'm, like, so excited. Mm -hmm. Especially, like, if I have something new to do. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm more so nervous for... Not more so people not liking it, but, like, me opening up that part of, like, being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Um, So, the first time I performed... I was like, this is home, like, the stage is, like, where I belong, like, I belong in entertainment, not more so talking, but singing it, Mm -hmm. but, um, I don't get, I don't get nervous anymore, uh, I think the first time I got nervous, it, like, went out the door once I opened up my mouth, like, once I got up there, the adrenaline rush just hit me, and then 9 times 10, I'm drunk, so (laughs) that could be a part of that, too. (laughs) girl. So talk about the uh, recent events that you've done. So you've done the Divinity Fest, mm-hmm. um, and then back in February, I believe, you did the Center Stage 4. Was that like a mm-hmm. house party yeah, yeah. type thing? Um, yeah, it was like the 90s theme. Yeah, it was, yeah, it it was dope. Cool. Yeah, it was so cool. cool. So go ahead and talk about uh, just all the events you've done in the past couple months. Um, So in the past couple of months, so in the past couple of months, uh, I was in L.A., and I was doing uh, different shows out there. Um, it was an event called Unplugged L.A., um, it was an event called, um, what was it? It was like Showcase California. Um, it was like an event called LA Live. It was like a whole bunch of different events mm-hmm. that I did in LA. Um, and then back in St. Louis when I came back, I had did the Showcase, the center stage. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. And then I just did the Divinity Fest, and that was awesome. Oh, Shout out to see. It was awesome. Yeah, it looked good. I saw, <laughs> I saw the pictures and stuff. I was like, 
oh, I should be there. It was but. so cool. Oh my gosh, that was fun. It was like so cool seeing like everybody like mm -hmm. as one. And just like just uh, all women performers, mm -hmm. all, all women performers, uh, all women art. Uh, it was a woman who like made vegan food. It was pretty cool. Oh, like it was so dope. I'm jealous. <laughs> So do you have any like upcoming events going on? Um, I have a couple. Two of them I can't talk about yet. Okay. Um, one of them is in the works. It's supposed to be this month, so hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just don't know when yet. And what about music? Um, music. Uh, May will be a breakout for Emotional Horror Two. Oh, excited! <laughs> Which it was not supposed to be a two, but it is okay. Yeah. It's a two coming, and I'm excited. Okay, so this next segment is: Do you know your favorite artist? So for you, <laughs> I picked Frank Ocean because I'm a Frank Ocean lover. Cool. Um, so I just ask you a couple questions about Frank Ocean's life, uh, and at the end I play a track, and okay. you can just guess what the track is. Okay. Cool. Uh, so the first question is, uh, what group was Frank Ocean a part of? Odd Future, of which course. was easy. Yep. Always. Shout out to Odd Future. Right. I need to get back to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They do. <laughs> um, what was his real name? Or what is his real name? It's Christopher something. Um, Christopher Edwin but some Binks. Yeah. Bricks. Bo. I'm or so sorry, Frank. <laughs> His name is Frank Ocean. <laughs> right. We call him Frank Ocean. <laughs> what was his breakout mixtape? Um, Nostalgia. Um, yes. Yeah, Nostalgia, Nostalgia Ultra. Ultra. Came out 2011. Oh, great. So Brings back so many memories. Oh, so good. American oh. Wedding. <laughs> I'm about to listen to that <laughs> Okay, what what track on The Life of Pablo was he featured on? Um, The extended version of Wolf. Yes, yes. Yeah. So they called it like French track um, after he changed it up, but it was mm -hmm. Wolf's. Um, and then I'm going to play the track for you real <clears throat> quick. Should be easy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that's my stuff. I think that's like my favorite song Don't that he came, has too. Baby. Don't baby. You got you in your mood. <laughs> I love that song. So you also have a vlog. Yes. And what's it called? Um, the Diary of an Emotional War. And what do you talk about on it? Emotional War. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, it's like the day in the life. So, um, I gotta get back doing it. I have so much footage. It's just editing. It's just a B word. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's Diary of an Emotional War. Um, Teacup Dragon is the like the name of the channel. Mm -hmm. Now I get back on it soon. But it's basically a day in the life of Teacup Dragon. So well, they crying in you and. <laughs> Crying, on? laughing, aggravated. Make sure you guys check that out. Yes, subscribe, like, and comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> so the last thing I want to ask you is, why are you passionate about music? Um, it's been in my life for so long. <clears throat> it's so cliche, but like, I was raised in church, um, singing in the choir, and my grandfather was uh, doing music. He plays every instrument possible. Um, none of my parents can sing or like play an instrument. Really? My grandfather is like the singer and like the instrument player, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's like a part of me, I guess I could say, or I can say. Um, it's the thing that keeps me alive. It's like literally my oxygen. Mm -hmm. Like if I was doing music, I'd probably be in somebody's test lab doing lab work. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> music is my life. It's a very um, passionate part. Um, it's a way for me to express myself more than my everyday clothes, I would say. <laughs> so, yeah. Love you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you put yourself. That's what we need. Yes. So, go ahead and I shout out like all your social media where people can listen to all your music um, and just learn about a little more about you. Okay, cool. So, you guys can follow me on every social media. Um, at Teacup Dragon, it's a U, not an O. Um, and... I'm on everything, so SoundCloud, Spotify, Tidal, Apple, Google Play, type my name in and you'll find me, <laughs> and I'm there. And it's teacup, like the teacup, mm -hmm. and dragon, D-R-A-G-U-E-N. Yep. And you guys can follow me on social media, all mine is Moni XO, M-O-N-N-E-X-O, um, and you can follow me like on SoundCloud, search 94XO Podcast, and the same with YouTube. We out, be easy.
Be easy. You're listening to 94XO.